Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is August 28th of 2017. This is a review of this 58-inch aluminum camera tripod. It comes in a box like this. Well, I'm not going to bother. The, uh, it comes in a bag. There's a carrying bag with it. Well, I guess I will. Won't hurt me to get up, will it? I don't think I'll ever use, but it comes with this bag. And uh don't think I'll ever use the bag. I've never used one yet for carrying a tripod. I think... This is actually the best tripod I've ever purchased, and I, was, I did a little check. I think I, uh, I've purchased several tripods from Amazon, and I think I've been out at Comp USA or someplace, or maybe a Walmart or someplace in the past, and well, I've been interested in photography since I was in grade school. but. I, this I think is actually I know it's not expensive this is I think this is the most I've ever spent for a tripod and that's a mistake I should have uh, you know I can see the difference uh, in all over with this thing and uh, it even well it comes with a detailed instruction paper here. You probably don't need it, but uh, you should check it out. Uh, from the instructions, I'm not sure if that's here, if that's mentioned here in the Amazon thing where they talk about it. Not sure if it's mentioned, but, and I haven't tried it. But uh, apparently you can take this off and you could purchase a, a better head. Not, I don't think from them, but uh, you can take this off and purchase a better head. And so apparently it unscrews here. There's a screw here on the top. And then there's a, this is a one, uh, one fourth or one eighth. I forget, you may need, the instructions mention needing the, uh, an adapter. And then you can put a floating head or whatever. Yeah, down yeah, yeah. here. Just woke up while I got my eyes are kind of blurry. Uh, please buy a switch screw when your tripod is UNC, whatever UNC me, one fourth thread. So on Amazon I found, I think about seven dollars for uh, I, I forget how many of them. You only need one, but it doesn't hurt to have one. So you could put a better head on this. And I found uh, on Amazon for twenty-three dollars, looks like a better, better head. I mean, this is probably okay for me, but uh, nice to have the option. Uh, these are the best feet that I've had on a tripod. I have one. I have several tripods set up here. I've got a. I've made a lot of videos on YouTube. There's one of the tripods that has a little spike sticking out. Uh, on each of the bottoms uh, I'm, <laughs> and that kind of worries me if I decide to pick up that and go someplace like to a museum or something someplace that will allow me to take photos inside and put a spike down on their floor they probably wouldn't appreciate it this has nice rotating rubber this, this is really smooth too and this is much better than uh, the screws or the ones you have to uh, tighten 
by twisting. This is faster and better. Uh, has two levels on it, which I never think, I never remember to uh, to use. I'm not sure. I've... So there's the, I usually forget to use them. There's a level here, and the other one sticks out. Where does it stick out from? Oh, no, the other one is okay down here. And I always forget, I could use the levels, I always forget to use them. But this is the first one that I had that had two levels on it. Uh, has these nice grips, what do they call them? I, I want to say, is it felt or... They, have, they call them something, what do they call them? Uh, Actually, you get a better look than me trying to hold it up by me using this. The uh... now I'll use the short. I have well, it's a tabletop anyway, but the type of videos that I'm making, I'll be using this at the uh, shorter. Probably never would need the entire extension of this thing, but it it's pretty impressive. Uh, okay, I think they mentioned, here it is. No, okay, well, let's look at this anyway. Here you go. Non-slip warm sponge. Thanks, it feel good. I've, that might, I don't know if that would matter, but I've tried taking it in the wintertime uh, pictures of the moon with my camera. I've tried uh, taking pictures of uh, International Space Station as it came over, unsuccessful, but I had in cold weather. But I'm not sure that uh, grabbing the metal was all that bad, but this would be better, you know, because of, be kind of bad to have your hand stick to the, uh, be frozen to the aluminum, wouldn't it? Anyway, this looks like a, uh, looks like a winner. I'm glad I got it. I have in the past, well, there's one in the closet someplace I should throw it. It was a small one though. I got a, I can't think, I can't believe that I had, that I bought it. I got a feeling maybe it came with something else. But I mean a really, really bad a tripod. I wouldn't want anybody to even see that tripod. This thing looks good. Looks professional, looks like it's about a $150 uh, tripod. I've never had a hundred and fifty dollar tripod, but this looks like uh, looks like a good one. I can't wait now to uh, hook my camera up to this and see which one of these other tripods I'm going to replace. I'm going to get started on that right away. Decide which one of my other tripods I'm going to replace and this might be the one to uh, I don't do very well when I try to when I, I make YouTube videos and when I try to uh, show my screen on camera it's kind of what was the other day was I trying to demonstrate and so this might be the uh, tripod that I would use for shots down then I watched somebody else they had a video and I'm not sure what kind of 
tripod they were using, but oh, it was a ham radio operator, and he was showing the software for his H hand, handy talkie and had it demonstrating. You could see the keyboard, or you could see his radio, and then pushing the buttons, and then the software or the screen. Uh, and that's a lot better than the videos that I tried to make of stuff. So this is going to be a big improvement here. I do recommend it to you. Thank you very much for watching.